Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today I'm going to be bringing you my February TBR. That is all the books that I've planned on reading in February. I know we're quite a way into February now, we're already halfway through, but it's been a very busy month, especially with uni. It's just been a little bit full on and hectic and I haven't been doing all that much reading, but I have already read a few of the books on my TBR, so I'm going to start with telling you about those ones. I'm also going to tell you about my TBR for specifically for Thrillerathon. I was going to do a whole video on my Thrillerathon TBR, but again, life got in the way. I think Thrillerathon starts on either the 17th or the 18th of February and then runs for a week. Um, and it's basically just a readathon about reading more thrillers than you normally would. It's hosted by my lovely friend Harriet. But anyways, I'll leave the Thrillerathon stuff until the end and I'll tell you about my normal TBR first. So every month there are a couple of kinds of books that I like to read. So every month I like to read at least one poetry collection and this month I decided to read Requiet by Malaika Kigade. I have already read this one but I won't tell you guys about my thoughts on it until my wrap up at the end of the month. This is a collection from Burning Eye Books who are one of my favourite poetry publishers and they focus on publishing marginalised voices from people who are quite prominent in the spoken word slam poetry scene. I also like to read a short story collection every single month and this month I went for Tangleweed and Brine by Deirdre Sullivan. This is a collection of feminist fairy tale retellings. I say I would like to read a classic every single month but I've been doing a really bad job at that and I am still making my way through Villette. I really hope I finish this one by the end of the month. I don't know what it is about me and Charlotte Bronte. I thought we were really getting along at the start of this, but I feel like it's possibly just been with me for too long at this point. Every month I also like to read at least one work of non-fiction and for February I'm going for Letters to My Fanny by Cherry Healy. I've not read this one yet, but what I wanted from my non-fiction read in February was something that was really sort of within my comfort zone. My brain has been like very much consumed with university work and I feel like my brain's a little bit broken. Um, so I thought some feminist essays would still, you know, keep my brain awake, but be very much in my comfort zone. Every month I've also wanted to do something like tops and bottoms with my TBR. So a book that has been on my TBR for the longest time, I did a full video on 12 books that have been on my TBR since 2016. So every month I wanted to read one of those and then every month I wanted to read a book that was featured in my most recent book haul. So for most recent the book I decided to add to my TBR was My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkin Brathwaite. Everyone's talking about this book and I wanted to have an opinion on it so it went on the TBR. I will tell you all about my thoughts in my wrap up at the end of the month. As for the bottoms, which is a phrase I will never tire of saying. I decided to add a Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this one. I have read one of Giovanna Fletcher's other books, You're the One That I Want, and I quite enjoyed that. I didn't love it, but I thought it was a nice, easy, like, palette cleansing read. Um, I've heard more negative reviews about this one, and I did plan on picking it up, like, around Valentine's Day, but that didn't happen because, like, th this past week has been so stressful with uni and basically my whole life <laughs> and I've done like no reading. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get on with this one but I'm definitely gonna give it a go and if I'm not enjoying it then I don't mind DNFing it. Every month I'm also going to be using a random number generator to select a book from my Goodreads TBR and the book that came up from the random number generator for February was Here's to You Rachel Robinson by Judy Bloom. I've only read one other Judy Bloom book shockingly, um, but I know she's sort of like the American equivalent of Jacqueline Wilson and I adored Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson is just a huge reason as to why I'm a reader in the first place. I've got quite a few more Judy Bloom books as well and I'm really looking forward to trying those ones out too. So they are all the books on my main TBR for February where I'm ticking off all my little reading goals. I will be reading other books in February as well. My TBRs aren't exhaustive and they are also very much subject to change. I don't want them to be like really strict for myself. But as I mentioned previously, I am participating in Thrillerathon, so I have a couple of books that I'm going to be adding to my TBR for Thrillerathon. The first of those is Sticks and Stones by Joe Jakeman. This is about a woman who decides to trap her husband in the cellar. Um, in order to protect herself and her son 
and somehow her husband's ex-wife and mistress get involved in this as well. Jo Jakeman did a talk at my university. She came in um, and alongside Roz Watkins, another author, um, spoke to um, my MA publishing course. And I just thought she was the coolest person. So I was like, I need to get her book. So I did. But I've not read it yet. So Thrillerathon is the perfect bit of encouragement for me to do that. Now I'm not a massive thriller reader, so I think picking up more than one in a singular week might be a little bit much for me, but I am going to try and add a Sweet Pea onto my TBR as well. Uh, this book is by CJ Scoos, and I have heard so many good reviews about this book, particularly from my good friend Leanne over at Literary Diversions. She has absolutely raved about this book. This book is about a young woman named Rhiannon who sort of, she blends into the background quite a lot. She's not all that noticeable. She's got quite an unsatisfying job at a newspaper. And this book has been referred to as Bridget Jones meets American Psycho because Rhiannon is also a serial killer. She has a kill list that has people on it from people who have annoyed her at the supermarket to people who she really thinks have it coming. I really trust Leanne's opinions on books. She's such a good friend of mine. We have the same name for crying out loud. These are the two that I'm gonna be picking up for Thrillerathon. There are like prompts and challenges for Thrillerathon and I will leave Harriet's video about it linked down below in the description. Um, but I'm not gonna do the challenges because I don't think I've got a large enough thriller TBR for that. And also, like I said, more than one thriller might be a challenge. So this is it. This is my TBR for February. As I said, some of these I've already read, some of them I have not. If you're participating in Thrillerathon, let me know. And as ever, all of the books will be linked in the description box if you want to find out more about the books or you want to get your hands on a copy. My TBR for March is going to be all about the Irish Readathon, which I am very excited about, and my announcement video for that will be linked down below as well. Keep your eyes peeled for recommendations videos about that and for my TBR. Anyways, that's all for me for now, but I will talk to you in my next video.